Hey everyone, it's Gloria, and welcome to another episode of Friday Fun. Um, I have been MIA for a couple of weeks, and I apologize. Um, lots has been going on, um, including um, uh, having to leave town unexpectedly for a funeral. So, um, anyway, I was been in airplanes and airports, and was able to um, sketch a bunch of different uh, card sketches and layout sketches. So I wanted to share a few cards with you. Um, that I did um, upon my return. The first one is this one here, and I just used scraps. Um, this is uh, close to my heart um, paper, and I don't even have a collection that it uh, belongs to. Um, but I just used some scraps that coordinated with it, and this is one of the sketches I had um, uh, made in the on my trip. And um, I used uh, Fisker's, or no, I'm sorry, Martha Stewart Punch. Um, and I did four layers deep on the flowers, so two of the pinkish color and two of the yellow, and then added these two rhinestones in the center. And then the sentiment is stamped in um, olive, and it says, you are my sunshine. And I got that from this Close to My Heart stamp set, and it's right there. And it is from the God Bless You sentiment stamp set. So I liked, um, bringing that out every once in a while. And I was just feeling a little, I guess, melancholy, a little sad um, upon my return and decided to, to make this card. And this is just some white hemp from close to my heart. On the inside, I just did the flower and I did some more of the design paper. So this isn't from any of my paper stacks, it's just random stuff, but I wanted to do the, follow the sketch. And this is another one of the sketches that I drew up and I'm sure this is not a, a first I think I might have seen this somewhere and just sketched it out but this is again some scrap paper in my wedding stash of stuff and then um, some um, scraps of vintage lace and then I layered these two flowers um, this burgundy one on the black and then added this bread in the center crystal bread and then this um, little tag came from my wedding um, stash of embellishments and I just added a piece, a strip, oops, sorry, a strip of the pattern paper on top. So that one was pretty simple. And then the next few are actually uh, Mojo Monday sketches because I came back and got my Mojo Monday sketches. So this one is Sketch 240. And this is my rendition of that. I used on this one um, the Bella Armoire stack from DCWV. And you can see the the shine, uh, it's embossed these little, the, on the uh, design paper. So I did that, and then I pulled out the, uh, some oldies but goodies. Um, I don't know what it was, I started kind of cleaning out my space and came across this vellum, which I have not used in forever, and it's got script on it, it's kind of cool. And this actually happens to be from Colorbox. So I just used it up, and I took out my, uh, vellum adhesive, you know, that spray stuff, and used that. So it was kind of stuff that I hadn't used in a while. And then, um, so I did that. And then this paper doily is a die cut um, that I got from Letty um, that she gifted me last month. So thank you, Letty. I just glimmer misted it with Haunted Shadow Glimmer Mist. And then this paper right here um, that I made this um, banner with is actually Halloween paper. <laughs> it's like bright orange on the back. Um, but I like that it had like, lines on it and it's already kind of distressed. So I just inked the edges with my black distress ink and added some black rhinestones and then stamped the happy anniversary um, in pansy purple. Then this heart I cut out with my Cricut using, and I stamped it with um, this stamp set, which is the Mad About You stamp set. So that's the heart right there. And let's see, what else did I do? Um, and then I embossed that in silver on there and kind of put it up on some really thin dimensionals. Um, and then the inside, I just added a strip of the design paper on the side there and left it white for my message. Okay, then the next card I made using sketch number 241, which is that one there. And this one I went a little bit uh, more vintage on. Um, I just used this Recollections card base that's textured. I don't know if you can see that. But it's kind of cool. I bought a box of like 30 um, of these in different colors. And um, 
So I used that, so it's a black textured um, card base. And then I used um, same paper from the, um, uh, gosh, Bella Armour paper stack. And then um, this second piece right here with the circle on it, um, journaling spot, is actually from the collection itself. There's just a page of different size journaling spots that you can cut. Um, cut out, and so I just took um, cut it out. Oops, and um, I distressed the edges with my distressing tool on all the pieces of paper. And then this sticker right here comes from. It says "Love is patient, love is kind." It comes from this Cloud Nine Design um, Clear Epoxy sticker set um, that I got so long ago I don't even remember. Um, it doesn't have a year now. I bought this forever ago. It was in my wedding stash of stuff, so I used that, and then I used some black lace under here and layered some of this white squiggly wire type trim on top, and then I took apart a Wild Orchid Crafts um, gardenia and used just the bottom two layers, the, the bigger ones, and I took off the leaves, and um, with my... Um, little paint dauber I just whatever was on it I didn't re-ink it I just whatever black ink was on there I just distressed the edges and then put it back together and then added this um, vintage button that I got in a uh, I purchased from a, a gosh a, a sewing store that was going out of business so um, let's see oh and then I added a little bow with seam binding and added a little pearl in the center and then on the inside, I matted some of the paper, and this is also from the same collection. It's light enough that I thought you could still, if you wrote in a black pen or something, it could still see, show up really nice. So that was that. And then, uh, last but not least, my last sketch is uh, sketch 242, which is just this week's sketch. And I went vintage on this one as well. And here it is. And then for this one, I used the Kane Company K, um, Margot paper collection. Um, that I have like three pieces of paper left, I think, in it. One full 12 by 12 sheet and then some scraps. So I'm really excited to get this one um, used up. So I decided to, um, oh gosh, um, mat this, uh, the design paper on some black cardstock. And then I used a craft card base. Um, and then added some of this paper to just kind of give it a pop of color. And, um, and I stamped this. Um, stamp The Eiffel Tower is actually one I just purchased recently. Um, and it is from Stamp Abilities. It's this one here. And um, I got it at 40% off sale that, that uh, Hobby Lobby was having. So whatever 40% is of 7 bucks. That's what I paid for it. Sorry about the glare, but I love how that looks. And so I used my um, Jet Black Stays On ink. And look how crisp that image is. I love it. Uh, matted this ivory cardstock on this black and then distressed my distress tool, distressed all the pieces of paper. And then I added um, a strip of paper on the bottom there going this way. And um, I used my um, Fisker's Edge Punch, this one here to um, do the border on that. And then I, um, this is some um, close to my heart seam binding and it's the color ready seam binding. So I just sprayed some bronze glimmer mist on it and um, it turned out that color. And then I added this um, vintage button that has this little, like a profile of this. Sorry, I don't know if the lighting is so bad. There we go, so you can see that. And then the inside, I did the same. I added the design paper on some black and then kind of set this off to the side, this ivory cardstock to write the sentiment, um, kind of like the Eiffel Tower is. So that was my thinking behind that. So there you have it. There are my um, cards for this week. Like I said, I am working on some other things. I've been trying to um, get my... Um, my uh, layout mojo to return and I think it's back. I've kind of been working on some stuff and um, things have just gotten really crazy around here but I'm so excited. Stay tuned for um, my next video. I'll share with you um, a current uh, project that I've just uh, been working on. Thank you.